Okay, in this video I'm going to take you through uh, downloading and getting started with um, Gradle and Spark Java, which is a Java backend for developing and, and deploying websites. Um, what what the the stack is you hopefully remember that we talked about the uh, the front end and back end web stack in um, in lectures um, this gives you access to that whole front uh, front end which is HTML CSS and JavaScript it allows you to work and uh, work and edit any of those um, while providing that whole back end and the back end is the whole stack that goes from the operating system right the way up to kind of delivering actual content uh, the reason that we've done this is that um, a it's in Java which is a language that you're all familiar with by now and uh, B it's it's relatively uh, common um, in the in the kind of back end world, uh, there are lots of languages that are used: uh, JavaScript, Python, Ruby, to name a few. Um, like I said, we chose Java because it's the one that is kind of most well known uh, to you. And uh, I thought it would be an interesting way to um, give you an introduction to that that back end of the web web stack. So we're going to start off by going to the assignment to uh, website on the Engineering 110 web page. Um, this is only necessary for a challenge, uh, but once you're ready to, to have a uh, have a go at uh, deploying this, scroll down to the bottom and click on this link here, which says download and unzip this package. So we're just going to uh, save link as, and I'm going to put it in my um, in my lecture examples home directory, which I can hopefully find somewhere, and amongst this mess, um, it should be lecture demo. There we go. Okay, and I'm just going to save it. Um, once it's saved, I'm going to unzip it, and you can see that there is a, a whole bunch of um, whole bunch of files in there. And I'll take you through exactly what they are in just a moment. So now I'm going to navigate to to that directory. Uh, it was in lecture demo, which should be right here. Cradle project. Okay. So this is our this is our standard directory setup. So I'm I'm just going to start out by navigating through this and, and showing you um, what is what. So what I've done is uh, I've given you a kind of very minimalistic working demo to play with that you're free to extend, um, edit, break as as you see fit. Um, and the uh, there are a few kind of main files. Uh, the the first is the main Java class file, and you can find that by going into this directory source main Java, and you can find the main Java class. So if I open that up, um, you can see here is my main Java class file for this website. I'm importing this the Spark library, and this is in my entire website. And um, I've put I've put three things in to help you get started. The first is this thing here, which is a static file location. And what this means is once we run this Java server and start uh, using it to um, transmit web pages, uh, it will share any and all files that we put within this site directory. So remember that, we'll, we'll go back to it later. So any images, any CSS, anything we want displayed on our website, we should put in this site subdirectory. Below that, we have our first um, kind of HT, um, uh, HTML uh, request. It is a GET request, and it is very simple. It just says, when the user navigates to this website, and enters the URL website slash hello, we're going to return the string hello world. That's it. That's all that does. Um, the final one is an example of what to do when you want to get information from your user rather than just transmit information from the server. So I've added a post request here and it says um, what the post request does is when we get a post request at example, uh, what we can return from that is hello followed by some parameter and um, just remember this this rec here it stands for request and it's what's kind of returned from the the HTML and we can look through that and I've said we'll look through that for this um, this kind of uh, this tag called foo so let's go and take a look at the other main file that we're going to have to deal with at the moment and that is the HTML file. So once again, if we go back up into main in our, in our Gradle project, um, go into resources and you can see here's the site directory, so everything below this is public. And you can see within this I've got image and I've got index.html. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open that index.html up 
and show you my very very minimalistic basic HTML I've got an HTML document it's got a header which is currently empty and no style whatsoever which is something you might want to change for your assignment within the body we can see I've got some text saying hi engineering 110 I've got an input form and this is the thing with the name foo so that's the one that's linked into that post um, that post request that I showed you before we've got a submit button and I've put an image in um, which will hopefully be vaguely entertaining for you and you can see the image itself is just within this site directory as long as it's in here I can just use slash whatever the name of that image is to get it to display on the site so finally we've got all this stuff together but what we want to do is see how to actually deploy it um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Gradle project um, and I'm going to just clear that uh, let's make this a bit bigger so it's easier to see and move into the appropriate directory you can see there's the Gradle project directory that I um, I used before and if I go LS those are all my files now this Gradle thing uh, is the, the latest version of something called Maven what it does is it is a tool for um, automatically grabbing downloading and packaging Java projects for you now it fits in really really nicely with IntelliJ and Eclipse but because a number of you are still using BlueJ I want to show you how to do the whole thing via command line so it does not matter which um, IDE you're using to, to get up to speed with this once we're in this Gradle project directory all I need to do is type dot slash Gradle W space build Gradle W is actually in this folder and Gradle W should run on all operating systems using the same command what it does when I hit that is it will go it will download any of the necessary libraries um, package them all up in here and the way I've got it set up is that it will actually produce uh, a website for you in the form of a jar file now if you're not familiar with a jar file it is a Java archive file and it is an entire Java program that is ready to be executed so now I've, I've built my uh, built my website and server backend and every time you make changes to either their index or the main Java file you'll need to rebuild this um, I'm ready to deploy it and to deploy it I type Java dash jar and then the name of my jar file now I've amazingly called this website minimum viable product or website MVP dot jar if I hit enter you'll see a bunch of interesting stuff come out the only thing that we're really interested in is this listening on 0.0.0, .0 colon 4567 so I'm going to copy that if I jump over to a browser now um, here we go open a new tab and I'm going to type localhost colon 4567 so what I'm doing is I'm replacing this 0.0.0.0 with the word localhost and then the 4567 the 4567 is a port number if you're not familiar with that type in slash and hit enter and you can see here is our amazing website it is not that great at the moment but you can see there is an image in there there is um, there is uh, a button hidden behind the image which should be fixed in the in the deployed version and I have something I can type in here if I push the button I'll get some kind of example um, and that's it it's all you need to do so you should be able to by editing those two files um, navigate around and start deploying more pages and getting more interactivity and adding in some CSS for your assignment good luck